Senator Rennick. Thank you, Deputy Chair. And it's good to rise, President. Uh, it's good to rise uh, and talk about what a debacle this Labor government is. Last weekend, we just had a referendum that divided that divided the country. And so, sorry, Chair, I can't think for the yodelling over there. It's distracting me. Order on my right, Senator Rennick. It's the yodelling. It's just you know I'm not used to that sort of yodelling. Yeah. Huh? So, so it's not, let's not. <laughs> the comments were directed towards you, Senator Billick. They weren't directed personally to you. It was back to it. What yeah, a disgraceful. What a disgraceful effort by the Labor Albanese government in the first 16 months of its term. It has wasted $400 million on a divisive referendum that has sought to undermine democracy. That has sought to undermine democracy. And the same people that talk about giving people a voice and everything like that, well, the people spoke on the weekend. And what did the Labor state premiers do? They turned around on Monday and said, well, we're going to push ahead with treaty anyway. We're going to push ahead with treaty anyway. I mean, the member for Gavin in Queensland, she said, well, she didn't learn anything from the voice. So much for having a voice to actually listen to the people. But you see, the thing is, we already have a voice. It's called the ballot box, and every three years we get to line up and vote for who we want uh, to represent us. And if you join a political party, you get to vote in pre-selections, or at least you do if you are in the Liberal Party. But no, 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 that is what, that is what, that is what the Labor Party try and do. They try to divide the people through identity politics by getting into their personal space. And you know why they do that? Because they don't have a plan for how to deliver essential services. They don't know a thing about delivering the things that matter, because this is a party of command and control. The Labor Party aren't interested in serving you. They are interested in controlling you. They are interested in controlling you. And meanwhile, hard-working Australians are doing it tough. They've got rising rents. They've got rising interest rates. They've got rising power prices. They have a rising cost of living. And what's Labor's answer to this is to push identity politics down their throat for the first 16 months of their term. And that is an utter disgrace. And then we've got the issue of transparency and accountability. Now, the Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, came out uh, when he was opposition leader and said his government was going to be so transparent and accountable. And what have we got for that? We've actually got uh, some dodgy dealings going on here with Qantas, and they won't release, the minister won't release the minutes of the meetings that she had with Qantas. But that's not news because Prime Minister Albanese said he was going to release the minutes of National Cabinet when he became Prime Minister. And did he do that? No, he did not do that. And did he support our motion for a quarterly uh, pricing uh, report into the cost of energy and how that cost of energy is formulated? No, he didn't support that. Did he actually end up holding a royal commission into COVID? No, he didn't support that. He's ended up supporting a few COVID alarmists to actually do a dodgy inquiry uh, that's going to be released in about 18 months' time. He's not going to have anyone that's been publicly elected actually scrutinise what went on. No, 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 because he's going to sweep it under the carpet. He is going to sweep it under the carpet. And this is the evidence of a Labor Party that is full of hubris full of actual hate and guilt and fear-mongering, but refuses to deal with the issues that matter, with the issues that matter to everyday Australians. And that, of course, is what I just mentioned, cost of living, energy prices, etc., etc. And as we move forward, have we talked about anything this week about what Labor want to do? No. We passed the Family Law Act, which seeks to divide families. Why did they do that? Well, that's all they know how to do, is to walk into the family home, the bedroom, the classroom, the doctor's waiting room, the corporate boardroom, and we, didn't we see that with the voice? Didn't we see the corporates make an utter fool of themselves? They spent millions and millions of dollars wasting shareholders' money on pushing a, uh, a yes vote that the people didn't want. 
They had no authority to spend that money. Did any of those companies actually get board approval for that? I doubt it. But that is so typical of a Labor Party and their mates in big business and big unions and big super funds, just like superannuation. There was never, never an election to see whether or not people wanted 12 per cent of their wages stolen from them. No, 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 no. This is the party of dictatorial, one-style government where they look after the elites Thanks. and don't care about the battlers. Thank you, Senator Rennick. Authorised G. Rennick, LNP Chermside.